It's a site that hasn't been seen in the US for over 30 years. A new nuclear reactor nearing completion. Two of them, in fact. Yes, the country that has more of these than anywhere else has now finally started building them again, and it couldn't come at a better time. With fossil fuels falling out of favour, nuclear faces a possible comeback. But this monster of a construction project has been a long time in the making. Costs have spiralled sharply and mistakes have been made. Fogel is well behind its originally intended schedule, double the original budget. People didn't know how to pour concrete correctly. The design wasn't finished enough. Techniques had to be invented and then changed on the job. And yet it could still mark the beginning of an American nuclear revival that not too long ago seemed impossible. When you think clean energy, you'll probably imagine wind turbines, solar panels, or maybe a hydroelectric dam. But what about this? That's right, nuclear power. It's not everyone's idea of clean. The errors of the past and concerns about waste have made many of us skeptical about these places and the people operating them. Now, if you'll excuse me, my fondue is just about... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> there goes Albany! But this is no joke. When the wind isn't blowing and the sun isn't shining, we need a reliable source of emission-free energy to fall back on, one that isn't years away from reality. Coal is now extremely expensive. Natural gas is now extremely expensive. Wind and solar do not replace the functions of coal and natural gas, which is on-demand power. Mark's a nuclear engineer and managing director of Radiant Energy Fund, which advises governments and companies on nuclear energy. Even gas being on demand has been brought into question with the Texas blackouts of 2021, when we just didn't have the ability to deliver enough natural gas in very cold conditions to keep the whole grid going. Now, we've been building nuclear reactors since the 50s, and it all started in the US. It was here that electricity was generated with a nuclear reactor for the first time, in a period when atomic power was still mostly known for weapons. The peaceful atom is here now to serve what President Eisenhower has termed the needs rather than the fears of mankind. Today, the US has by far the largest nuclear capacity of any country in the world, and yet it hasn't built any new nuclear plants for over 30 years. There are almost a hundred reactors in operation across the country, but they were all made decades ago. A second reactor at Watts Bar in Tennessee was completed in 2015, but construction started on that back in the 1970s, so it's not seen as completely new. Now, there are reasons for America's nuclear decline, and they apply pretty much everywhere. In short, new reactors have become extremely expensive, and they take a long time to complete, which isn't helpful when experts say we could do with more of them. These days, there are also a lot more regulatory hurdles and safety procedures to follow. That's largely down to what happened at Three Mile Island in 1979, where one reactor in Pennsylvania had a partial meltdown and became one of the worst nuclear accidents in history. After that, nuclear's popularity began to decline, and plans to build dozens of new reactors across the country were cancelled en masse. In a developing country, you're desperate. You take whatever power plants that you can get, whatever power plants the rich world will finance for you. But in the rich world, we got a little bit complacent, and it meant that if enough people didn't like nuclear, why go through all that effort as a, as a national leader or as a political party? Why put up with the opposition to nuclear when you could just not build anything or build something more popular, like wind or solar. The nuclear power plants of today are also built with more modern digital systems than their predecessors. They come with a lot of benefits and one pretty significant risk, cybersecurity. That's something NordVPN, our partner for today's video, knows a thing or two about. Now, you may not be running a nuclear power plant, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't give yourself some peace of mind that your personal data and internet activity is secure especially if you're on public Wi-Fi. There are a lot of cybersecurity threats out there, such as hackers who steal data using public Wi-Fi. NordVPN works at super fast speeds to keep you private and secure online, hiding your IP address and routing your internet traffic through an encrypted connection to a VPN server. You can connect up to six devices to access TV shows, movies and games that aren't available in your country from anywhere in the world. 
Right now, users can get a huge discount on a two-year plan. And if you sign up through nordvpn.com forward slash the B1M, you'll get an additional four months free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, that's nordvpn.com forward slash the B1M. Now, let's get back to the video. It's not just the US that's finding it difficult to revive this industry. Hinkley Point C, the only nuclear power plant being built in the UK, is at least 18 months behind schedule. Even in France, which has a greater share of nuclear power than any other country, a new reactor at Flamanville is expected to cost 300 million euros more than first forecast. It's fair to say the US nuclear sector has never fully recovered. The last power plant to begin construction here was back in 1978. Having any new reactors, let alone whole new plants, was starting to feel like a thing of the past. But that's all about to change. America is back in the nuclear energy industry, folks. We are back. America's finally getting its first new reactors in decades, built on the site of the existing plant Vogel in Georgia, which has been home to two since 1989. Located east of Waynesboro, close to the border with South Carolina, Units 3 and 4 at Vogel are the only nuclear reactors currently under construction in the whole United States. Once finished, they'll provide enough clean energy through nuclear fission to power half a million homes and businesses for 60 to 80 years. When combined with Units 1 and 2, Vogel will generate more electricity than any other nuclear facility in the US. The project's being managed by Southern Nuclear and Georgia Power, with Bechtel handling the construction. As you can imagine, building a nuclear reactor involves bringing together a whole lot of components, some of them small and others very large indeed. By far the biggest piece on each unit is the CA-20 module. Five stories high and weighing almost a thousand tons, they store used fuel, exchange heat and collect waste. Wall and floor sections were prefabricated on site, and putting the modules in place required the heaviest lifts on the whole project, using one of the largest cranes in the world. Installing the two steam generators needed for each reactor was another complex task. Assembled in South Korea, they had to be transported from the coast to the site by train. They're 25 meters long and also had to be craned into place. So, how much has all this heavy lifting cost, and has it remained on schedule? Well, a lot, and no. Back in 2009, when the project was first approved, it was set to total around 14 billion US dollars, with a target completion date of 2016 for Unit 3 and 2017 for Unit 4. Now we're in 2022 and the work is only just wrapping up. And as for that price tag, well, it's looking closer to 30 billion US dollars. That makes it a contender for the most expensive nuclear power project ever. And it's not even an entire plant, just an extension, albeit a big one. To be fair, a large public infrastructure project going over budget is not exactly unusual. It's kind of normal for the final cost to be somewhat higher than the original estimates, especially when the project's been running for years or even decades. But now it's costing more than double what it was supposed to, you can see why some people are a bit annoyed. As for the delays, well, a lot of it comes down to the way it's been managed. The company that makes the reactors, and that was previously the main contractor, has had a part to play. Vogel 3 and 4 are the first AP1000 units from the Westinghouse Electric Company to be built in the US. However, in 2017, the company filed for bankruptcy due to heavy losses from Vogel and the VC summer plant in South Carolina, where it was supplying a further two reactors. Although work on Vogel 3 and 4 was able to continue during this period, a new contractor, Bechtel, had to be appointed for the rest of the build. We forgot how to build. Now, the theory was that because several AP1000s, the reactor design that was being used, were in construction in other countries, we could learn from those countries and learn how to construct it ourselves. But with the supply chains different, management teams different, engineering teams different, we just didn't learn from the AP1000s under construction in China. Construction productivity was another challenge that's led to delays at Vogel, along with the significant amount of remediation that's had to be done. By that, we mean having to redo certain jobs, and on a nuclear reactor, that can be somewhat time-consuming. According to one report, almost 100 miles of cable, around 8% of the total used, had to be cut or replaced. 
Another report revealed how on one part of the project, an inspection to check bolts were tightened to a specific degree didn't happen. That meant they all had to be loosened and retightened correctly before the inspection record could be signed off. Then, in December 2021, it emerged that tens of thousands of these records had not been completed, creating a massive backlog. The tasks had been carried out, but the paperwork hadn't been done. But today, with these problems now sorted, the mood is a lot more positive, and the end is finally in sight. Construction of Unit 3 is now officially complete, and in August 2022, Unit 4 was at 96%. That same month, Southern Company received some much-needed good news. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission confirmed that Unit 3 conformed with its regulations. That gave the plant clearance to start loading fuel and begin the start-up sequence for the reactor, with commercial operation now expected in the first quarter of 2023. The plan is to have Unit 4 up and running by December that year. It may have taken much longer and cost far more than expected, but the conclusion of this project will be a big moment, not just for the people of Georgia, but the entire US. While there's no sign yet of a mad rush to build more of these things, more will surely follow, and several are already planned or proposed, but they're yet to begin construction. Once Vogel crosses the finish line and lessons have been learned, it could help kick these other schemes into gear. If Vogel is being finished in a time when the alternatives to Vogel are extremely expensive or only a partial substitute for what nuclear power would be, the conditions are right to move on and start other large-scale nuclear plants or to start on some new designs that people have been proposing for building around the US. We now have proof the US remains serious about this importance and still a quite divisive form of energy thanks to the hard work that's been carried out with this project. It proves that nuclear power has a future in America, but to what extent, we'll just have to wait and see. This video was made possible by NordVPN, you can learn more about that at the link below. And as always, if you liked this video and you want to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, make sure you subscribe to the B1M.